What's up, guys? Cali Sunset Gaming with you again. We are on to the next episode of the FIFA 22 Road to Glory with Sunset City FC. We're at the end of the season, guys. We've won the title. We're just coasting, all right? Coasting. The last game of the season is a game against Bristol Rovers. It's going to be a game that we play, but make sure that you guys stick around because we are going to be seeing through the summer period as well as the preseason tournament in preparation for next season. Let's get to it. This is a big episode for us. We're going to be going through the summer period, trying to work out who's good enough to stay and who we need to get in. And I'm excited about the bunts, all right? The earner. How much am I getting for this title? Probably not as much as what I would win if I won the playoffs, but... Bristol Rovers is a team that we beat 3-1 last time we played them. I believe it was simmed. I may be wrong. Fact check me on it. What I'm going to do is just rotate some of the fringe players. I think that's going to allow me to assess more accurately which ones are going to be worth keeping hold of and which ones we should try and maybe shift on. So I'll play this game and I will show you the lineups just before kickoff. But before I do, make sure that you smash a like on this video and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I appreciate all your guys' comments and feedback, and I try and respond to every single comment that's left on my videos. One thing I will say as well is that I'm also on Twitch, and I'm planning on doing a FIFA stream between the hours of 1 and 3 on Saturday mornings, as well as being back on for something other than FIFA between the times of 7 and 9. So make sure you check it out. I'd love for you guys to come and drop in. So the final game of the season... We play Bristol Rovers. They're lining up as a 4-5-1. They've got Nicholson, Finley, Clark, Thomas and Spence in midfield with Collins up top. We are going for a pretty severely changed side in comparison to our usual setup. Fox in goal, who's played well any time that he has stepped in, made some great saves. Gormley at left back. Bowman, Smith and Paul making up the rest of the back four. Feeney and Jago in mid with Palmer and Austin. Up top, we're going for Duke and Little. Kick off from Bristol Rovers. Let's get it. Not too much riding on it for us, and I don't really think there's much riding on it for Bristol. But I'm sure they'll. I'm sure they'll want to make up for, you know, that loss. Nearly did. Straight away. Feeney to Palmer. Plays it to Duke. Little's pointed where he wants it. Chego does well to intercept. Feeney. Turning into trouble. Duke. To Palmer. Quick feet. Tried that cross to be a... I wanted it a bit more snappy. Oh, that's a great pass. Little's in on goal. Little scored a goal. I'm pretty sure there was a foul in the build-up, but you know, it don't matter. Look what you got players like that. Just pinging it straight away. Great pass in the build-up. Spots that gap so well. And then Little... He's leaps and bounds this season. Come on. Started off the season as a fringe player, and every time I played him, he scored. Six goals in 12 matches for a 19-year-old. You ask any manager on the planet, if I could give you a striker that scores one in two games, they'd bite your hand off. Paul. Plays it through to Jago, but the halftime whistle goes, and we are 1-0 up in a game that we haven't really dominated, but it's just that Bristol Rovers haven't really created anything dangerous. The second half begins. We kick off. Let's just see it out. Let's turn it into a bit of an exhibition. Let's see what sort of goals we can score in this second half. Austin. We had a really decent first half. Shirt's up in. Respects the game. Oh, 
Oh, he's turned his defender. Feeney's ended up with it somehow. Gives it to Jago. Played out wide. Austin! How can you be stood offside there? Look how much time you had. Hey! You can see him! You can... You s we'll put that down to an experience. Oh, wow. Good play, Nicholson. Poor pass from him. Good move from them there, though. Spence. Ooh, tight. Spence gets it back. His pass is wayward. Thomas, his pass is intercepted. Oh, we can't get it out at the minute. They just keep catching every ball we try and clear. Nicholson. Kill Gore. Oh. Fox gathers. It's easy. Like I said, nothing. No real final product from Bristol. I'm not saying that in a big-headed way because like, it's been the same for us a lot this season. But Austin with a ball in. Collins. His pass is intercepted. Paul. Palmer. Gives it to Gormley. Fans expecting some from Bristol. Just got a bit of a deflection on that cross. Probably ruined it for him. Final whistle goes. 1-0. To end the season. Something for the fans to cheer about. You know. But we've done it. We're up. We are going up. So we are going up. We return to the lobby. Board confidence is at 59. Interesting. I am a little bit nervous about this. Union SG have shown interest in taking David Little on loan. With the option to buy. See, if I didn't want to keep hold of Little, this would actually be hilarious. I could just imagine the board meeting now. David, take a seat, mate. Um, I managed to get you a deal for uh, PSG. What? I'm going to PSG? No, no, sorry. You're going to USG uh, in the arse end of nowhere. Um, but you know what? I'm going to keep him. Back end of this season, he's played really well. 18 years old. Six goals in 12 games. Not to be sniffed at at this level. So we'll reject that offer. Got Wells returning from injury, so he'll be back for the pre-season tournament for next season, which is good. And the board kicking off again. Within the same season, sign one crucial player and make a profit of 2.6 mil. Not happening. It's just not happening. So get the idea right your head. Okay, let's find out how much that we've won. All right, surely they've sent us an email by now. Regarding the prize, 46 games, finishing top of the league for a million quid. Are you taking the fucking piss? Blood, sweat, tears, what do I have to show for it? A million pounds. Which means the board will probably allocate, uh, pff, I don't know, 500,000. I can't buy anybody with that. Uh, fuck it. Unbelievable. I knew I should have just put some ridiculous cash injection into the squad. Or I've got like, I don't know, 100 mil. 97 points in 46 games. 
Oh, and all the youth players want to go. Oh, yeah, fucking, we're bored. We want to play football. Yeah. Fucking, come to me saying you want to play football. Who? Kyle, Foster, Parr, and Amos. Amos. Sorry, mate. You're a centre back rated 44, so. And you're coming to me about wanting to play. Go then. Go. You want to play football so bad? Go play it on the park by yourself. 15 years old before. Um, yeah. No. Pa, 18 years old, a 41 rated CDM. Get out. Stop wasting my time. Who was the other ones? Foster. So we've got Amos, Pa, Foster, and Kyle. 18 year old rated 50. I mean, I, I'll give him his dues. I mean, he's got potential of 63. See ya. Bye. Get out of my face. Honestly, with stuff like that. Foster. Yeah, that's not too bad, actually. Um, okay, you can get promoted then. I just do, you know, I just don't believe the audacity of some of these youth players. Earn it. Don't just, you don't just waltz into the squad. Ruben Foster, I've been dreaming of this happening. Oh, shut up. We have not got off on the right foot. All right, so... Don't come into my office. Don't talk. Don't talk to me. Right. Our board confidence has gone up ever so slightly, which is good. It's gone up to 61. They better not sack me. Honestly, this would be devastating. Oh, blah, 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 blah. And we'd like you to reign. That's all that matters. We've, we're still in with a job. All right. This is a good life lesson, right? It doesn't matter if your manager thinks you're a piece of shit. As long as you... <laughs> it doesn't matter if your manager thinks you're a piece of shit. All that matters is that he, he won't sack you and he's willing to give you another chance. That's, that's all I want from the board. Just the opportunity to be given another chance. Fuck it up next season. Get through by the skin of our teeth and still keep my job. We are on a roll. So here we have our opportunity at a pre-season tournament. I mean... You get the most from that one. Play teams like Hull, Sparta, Rotterdam. This tournament feels like I'm, I'm on Pez. I mean, we'll do this one because it's the most money. And at the end of the day, that's what we all care about. Do you know what I mean? Edit club. Oh, ho, ho, ho. gang. I didn't know you could do this. I mean, people that know you can do this probably think you're a fucking idiot. Of course you of course you can do this. But you can fucking change your kit every season. Guys, come on. This this is alright, innit? We're getting big stadium upgrades. Let's have a look. We don't want to go too over the top, you know what I mean? I can't start rocking around in a bloody. But, you know, we can invest. Let's just pretend we've invested a bit of money. 19,000. So what we got at the minute? Town Park's 9,000. We moved to Moulton Road, an increase of an increase of 10,000. You know, we spent all summer building it up. Yeah, you know, just make up whatever narrative you want in your head, all right? You don't really want a racetrack around it, all right? That that sends out the wrong impression. It sends out that it's a, a sort of like a community stadium. Not about that life, all right? Football do or die. You're not going to find Fucking NFL lines on our football pitch. None of that shit. Ivy Lane, 30,000. You know, when we get into the Prem, we could look at bigger numbers, but I think Moulton Road for the meantime is that, that's all right. We'll go for that one. Look at it. That's, a, that's, that's an imposing stadium. Don't want to be coming around it. This place will be a fortress. I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to quickly change the kits. Because obviously you don't want to sit here whilst I'm sitting and go, hmm, yeah, maybe I'll have a little bit of the, uh, mm, yeah. 
Okay, so give me two seconds. Let me just do this and then I'll cut back and I'll show you the kit. Guys, I think I've done it. I think I have done it. Fresh, exciting, new kits, but not too far away from the originals, you know, just something to add a bit of... I'm walking around, you know. I'm musing. Look at this. Tell me something, girl. Are you happy in this modern world? Tell me something, boy. Are they not the best fucking creator club kits you've ever seen? If not, just lie to me. Just tell me they are. It's dead easy. Here we go. Pre-season tournament. We're going to get into it. But what I also want to do is make sure that we start looking at players that we want to purchase. Let's see if we can have a look at our objectives. Within two seasons, have at least one player from the Youth Academy signed to the first season, play at least 30% of games in the next season. Eligible six. Surely we're going to do that. That's easy. Just one of the youth players that we brought up is, is, is definitely going to do that. Palmer. He'll probably end up doing that. Austin. I can imagine those two easily hitting that for us. That's not a problem. Get a streak of three clean sheets in away matches this season. Come on. It's me. We actually had more luck getting clean sheets away from home than we did at home last season so that could play into our hands quite well domestic success win the league just been promoted oh you know that financial target that that we that, that we couldn't hit last year what we signed one crucial player and what they'll do is they'll increase the amount of profit they expect us to make this year despite the fact none of the players have changed you guys you fucking, you guys fucking rock. Okay. The board want to make things spicy. They've doubled the transfer budget this year. Giving us a total of four and a half million to play with. Okay. Okay. So Rangers wants to sign Sean Collins for two mil. I can't do it. I can't sell Collins. I just can't. Franklin, Salzburg are interested in purchasing this player between four and seven mil. They're offering six mil for him. <clears throat> That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. But guys, we're going to accept the offer. It's a lot of money. I can't turn down that sort of money. Six million pounds is just something that I've, I've got to take that. I have to take it. Franklin was good for us, but... Money talks, baby. Money talks. This could be Franklin's curtain call, so we're going to be playing this game. We've got Bailey in goal, Payne, Bowman, Fagan and Farmer making it up back four. Collins and Elliot as our midfielders with Andrews and Smart. Up top, we're going for Franklin and his partner in Richardson. Sunset, kick off. The best thing about these tournaments is the opportunity to play in big stadiums or at the Cruyff Arena. And we filled it. I don't know how, but we filled it. Quick passing from the opposition. they just going straight through us at the minute. Oh, it's too easy. Too easy. I thought it would going to be a tight angle and maybe the keeper could get a hand to it, but no. Oh, Bowman's pass just put straight back in trouble. If they can get there. No. Oh, he's gone through his legs. That's not normal, that. Come on, mate, chill out. Here's Richardson. Moving in on goal. Takes a shot. What a shot it is. Keeper saves it. 
the half time whistle goes 2 0 down. Not the adventure into Europe that we had pictured, but get that out straight away. No. Blocked. Oh. Oh. Fucking hell. Battered. Ugh. Not the start to this uh, pre-season tournament that I wanted, to be completely honest. I've sent the scouts out to just check out some of these players that are on the free agent list. When I get feedback, then we can find out which players that we can get hold of. Things like Aspas, I've put him straight into the shortlist. See if we can get hold of him. That probably won't be something that we do this episode. Probably do it towards the back end of the window to add a bit of spice, you know. But Franklin has gone to Salzburg. Good on him, you know, he deserves it. 26 years old, going to be on 20 grand a week. Can't complain. So, good luck. Makes our transfer budget a total of 8.4 million. And if you think about the fact that most of the players that we're looking to get hold of are on the free agents list, it just means that we can whack it all into the wage budget. Make some big signings. And I'm excited to show you if there's if the players come back, the ones that we can, you know, the, the players that I want to get hold of come back and we actually get the ball rolling. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. This next game is a game that we're going to sim. I'll show you guys the lineups. We're going to be playing in our new blue kit. Looks like they're going for a 4-5-1 and we're going with Payne, Bowman, Fagan and Paul as the back four. Jago and Feeney with Foster and Holden. Foster making his debut. Richardson and Duke up top. One or draw, who scored for us? Holden, back from his injury. Nice to see. Last game of the group stages in this European pre-season curtain raiser. Sparta going for a 4-4-2. We're going with Payne, Smith, Fagan and Farmer as the back four. Collins and Jego with Andrews and Holden. And then up top, Duke and Richardson. This is our strongest squad in terms of ratings. So let's see what we're made of. Engels. Pinto lays it off to his teammate for a shot. Richardson, I haven't really got any support. I'll tell you what though, Andrews will track that. He's very fast. Oh, c'est magnifique. Andrews. Did you see that turn of pace from him then? Unreal. Just a threaded ball through. He out muscles the defender. Takes a minute. Stop. Hold up. Wait a minute. That's more like it. This tournament might not be over for us just yet. No. Oh, well done, Farmer. Intercepts. Richardson. Feeds Andrews again. That turn of pace, he'll beat his man. Back post for Duke. It's 2-0. It's that easy. I've said it before, and I'll say it when it clicks. Mm, 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 mm. It's just too good. It's poetry in motion. But no luck. It's the old... See ya. 2-0 up against Sparta. This could be Rotterdam or anywhere. Liverpool or Rome. No, just me. What's up, crowd? Big cheer from the crowd. I don't know. I don't know if we're through, to be completely honest. I don't know what's. I don't know what the score is there, I'll be honest. But yeah, decent performance. After that thrashing that we received at the start of it, that's better. That's what our 
that's the best team that we have, the best squad out, that's the sort of performance we can put in. I'm happy with that. A series of unfortunate events, or fortunate in our case, we've made it to the semi-finals. We're against Fortuna Sittard, uh, who are playing a 4-4-2. We are playing in our away kit, so it's your opportunity to see the new away kit in the flesh. We've got Paul Smith, Bowman and Farmer with Collins and Jago, Austin and Palmer with Little and Richardson. I didn't expect to get this far in the competition, I'll be honest. So let's just dive in. Semedo. Oh, that's a great pass. Oh, that is so good. So good. Literally just uh, two or three passes and they've ripped us to shreds. Look, bang, bang, bang. Bang. See ya. Good night. Get to bed. No dinner for you. Wow. No way is he getting all of that. Thank God. Oh, no way. Smith, he's made a mistake. Oh, God. That was a silly mistake to make as well. Just didn't clear it quick enough. We go 2-0 down to a team I've never heard of. Brilliant. Every pass I do, it just... No! Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> that Fleming's on an absolute rampage. He's lethal. Gets it and the game's over. We've been. Ah, there's no polite way to put it. We've been beaten. We have lost the game. Johan Cruyff Arena is literally. Not a stadium I ever want Sunset City FC to play in again. So we crash out of the European International Cup, but we make just over half a mil from it. It's all about that cash money, baby. So I'm not too mad. We'll leave it there for that episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure that you tune in for the next one because it is the beginning of the season. League One. We're newly promoted and we're also going to be looking at possible transfer targets in more detail. So I hope that you check it out. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video and also comment on it. Make sure that you consider subscribe into the content and turn in on that notifications bell make sure that you check the description and it will show you when i'm on twitch and also give you a link directly to my page make sure you check that out too you guys have been awesome and i'll see you next time on cali sunset gaming